Hi and welcome to my channel. Today uh, it's going to be about bonsai. Uh, false header. This was bought for like f less than five dollars. They said it could be kept both outside and inside and I have no outdoor space so I've kept it inside and uh, it's been doing okay. Uh, I think it would prefer a lot of light. Uh, that is hard to do inside, but I'll try in the, when I continue to grow this. Uh, it doesn't have a, a thick stem yet, but I hope it will at some some point. So. Uh, today I'm going to put it into a bonsai soil mix. Uh, they all this also like a lot of water, so they, um, but more uh, most uh, retaining uh, ingredients than you would know normally have in a bonsai mix. So um, and I made this pot, or I didn't make the pot actually. I repurposed uh, some kitchen thing that I think uh, would look okay as a first bonsai pot. It's um, quite deep, but this is a very small scale uh, bonsai. So, and it's the first pot bonsai pot for this shallow pot for this uh, this plant. And I will need to cut some of the roots uh, and uh, I will also uh, wire the branches and the stem. First, I'm go I have uh, combed out the roots and uh, discarded the old the soil it was in and now I'm going to cut the roots to fit the pot. Because we don't want any roots to stick out of the pot. Um, this will also encourage the roots to grow. Uh, in, and the plant to grow new roots so I did report this when I bought it or a week later or something and then I also come out the roots in this radial pattern so that it would be easier I will also and cut some of the roots that are growing in weird uh, places or directions. Let's see. Here we have some that uh, follow the old, uh, the edge of the old pot, so that will be cut off. And there's some uh, roots growing directly down, like a 90 degree angle. Uh, we'll get rid of those. And I think this is hard to show you, so I'll just uh, get back when I have and done the roots. So now I have uh, wired the pot because uh, both to secure the plant in the pot uh, but also to continue uh, to wire the, mm, the stem with this. It may be a bit too coarse this wire. It's uh, 
Let's see. It's I think it's three millimeter. Uh, two, I think. Two millimeter. So I could maybe I could have used a thinner wire, but this is what I got. Uh, since this is my first project, I don't have uh, a lot of bonsai equipment, so yeah. And the roots are trimmed and ready to be put. Put it, and my mix is ready. So I just pour the mix down. and position the plant so I position the tree a little off center um, see I'm a little scared that if I cut more now, there won't be any roots left, so <laughs> we'll go with what do we have. And securing the tree. Uh, I may not continue with securing the tree in the pot. Uh, I'll see. Um, it does seem um, more trouble than it's worth, uh, from what I can see others do. But uh, I'm a beginner, so, so that theory might change. I don't think it's uh, uh, really accepted to wire at the same time as the repotting, but um, uh, um, let's see how it does. I don't think it should be a problem really. Uh, there's also lots of different opinions out there, so it's not always easy to know as a beginner uh, who's right or what suits me. Um, so a, a lot of just trial and error, I think. Uh, part of the reason why I wanted to wire this to the pot was that because it's such a small tree, and not established in the pot, uh, it would mm, be hard to wire. Uh, so, um, and I want to do it now. Just need to. I did uh, uh, some pruning when I first reported it when I got it, and. Um, so this time I probably won't um, won't um, prune it. Uh, try not to. <laughs> it's an old. I think it's so tempting uh, when you start on side to. Uh, uh, to prune it too often or too much uh, because that's what bonsai is right um so um when i'm done with this uh, tree now i'll just leave it for a year or at least until next summer so I could also leave it in a bigger pot to grow a thicker stem, but uh, I have I bought this uh, as I said less than 
$5, and it was in pot with lots of stems, so lots of small plants, cuttings, really. Um, so it was cheap, and I have backups, yeah, in plural, so I'm not really worried. I'm not going to, maybe I could buy that one. But uh, you mostly this these uh, branches are too small to wire. I think maybe uh, most people would probably think that the stem was also too small to wire. So you see how I uh, wriggle it around. If this was not wired to the pot, it would be impossible. So yeah. Now uh, it is wired and I need to find the shape. I'm also worried that some places I've wired to, I'm not wired cons with consistency. That's a problem. Uh, the main point with this wiring is actually not so much the shape as the uh, to break it up to make it less of a cutting because uh, you could see that it was uh, a small twig uh, from a large bush uh, initially so yeah I think this looks good this was a lot harder than I thought it looked so easy I think it's hard to imagine how the tree will look in a year and and that's probably you I probably just need some experience and that doesn't come without trying so um, so I'm attracted to the the cut and grow method because it seems simpler and uh, uh, less, how should I put that, um, like it's less artificial in a way, uh, you, when you cut you, you can't really decide where the tree will uh, grow a new branch, you just have to take what you get, but well, with wiring you can always wire another branch in that place or uh, yeah but the problem with cut and grow method is that uh, I really don't like the wounds it creates so so now this strange looking little tree will get its water and we'll see in a year or if something happens before that. So I thought this was a good um, time to show you my little bonsai collection. I think I, when I was working with this, I think I said that it was my first bonsai project, but it's actually not. Um, after I stopped filming, I added uh, some sphagnum moss and some calcium uh, uh, powder on the surface because it tends to get acidic. So uh, it's not looking very, it's not looking great right now, um, but hopefully it will recover. Then I have my fun project that is my uh, this is a ficus microcarpa um, <clears throat> the idea is to get uh, the roots to grow outside this uh, kitsch uh, uh, shoe planter thing uh, you can't really see the shoe planter thing <laughs> because it's covered in moss that's uh, to provide uh, uh, moisture for the roots to grow 
and this was a cutting that was sitting in water so and as you can see it's not really a bonsai size anything so uh, in this I also added some cinnamon powder uh, because the rope started to mold quite quickly um, yeah and then we have we have another Ficus microcarpa here um, this one is not in a bonsai pot yet uh, I just chopped off the top of uh, one of the trees growing in my terrarium yeah that's my cat complaining about something do you want some attention please yeah um as i said this uh, ficus is almost unkillable um i have it growing in my ter several of my terrariums where the soil gets really wet uh, but at some point it outgrows the terrarium so i just chopped the top off put it in water and when it got roots i put it in soil uh, there is a lot more to this than you can see at the moment it doesn't so uh, look like anything really also during winter it got too little light so it's too long between the nodes and between the leaves so like this branch i'll need to chop completely off but i checked the roots the other day and they were not very developed so i guess this has to stay in this pot in this um without any work being done to it for uh, some more time yeah and then this is probably the one i think i'm most happy with at the moment uh, this stick just marks the front because it's a, uh, a round uh, pot also repurposed uh, and drilled hole into and I wired it I tried to be very careful with the wiring because I did the test on another tree and it got quite uh, terrible uh, wire marks markings so but this this one's going good at the moment a little two dimensional also a cutting uh so yeah um wired it root pruned uh the the stem looks nice i think nice size uh i didn't uh, put the uh, sphagnum moss on top here uh and it doesn't seem to be necessary so um yeah the ficus microcarpa is uh, almost impossible to kill uh, thanks for watching and um, i'll be happy if you comment and uh, please like and subscribe thank you bye, bye.